Hello everyone, this is your boy coming at you with a video that this is this is actually called a retraction video. Um I made a video a, a while ago, might have been an hour or two ago, about um about Landon Dickerson, the offensive tackle or slash center for the Alabama Alabama Christmas Tide. Um after many um after much research rather um, I made a video about this guy, and I and I kind of hyped him up a, a little bit more than what I should. Um, come to find out, and I should have been um, a little bit more diligent in this video, or a little bit more diligent in my research. Um, Landon Dickinson has a pretty good lengthy injury history. And that kind of now that that now worries me because the simple fact is, um, maybe I didn't watch the the Ab the Ab the Alabama Pro Day when they had all their seniors and juniors who was expected to go between the first and the third round of the NFL draft this draft season. And um, this guy, Landon Dickinson, has had up to seven injuries. Um, two or three of them were ACL tears. He had a couple of ankle injuries and quite a few surgeries. So that's about five or six um, injuries and surgeries that they got him been through in the in the past. Um, I think four or five years because he had to, he also, from what I've also read, he also been red shirted. I think his, um, senior year. So instead of being a fourth year senior, he wound up being a fifth year senior. So he had to take another year with this past season, but he also canceled out a portion of this, of the, of last year because of, because of the COVID-19 virus. So he didn't play none. He played, I think he played a little bit of, of last year, but he held out. The remaining of the season because of the of the virus that was going on at the time, but I did not know the guy had that many many injuries, and um, that kind of worries me because see now it makes me wonder are the Eagles are going to um, put this guy on a pup list and let him rest the rest of the year because see one thing about the pup list which means that you're going to start the season missing a few games before you are actually eligible to play. And uh, he might not be ready for training camp. He might not even uh, be ready for virtual OT, OTAs. A lot of teams have canceled. A lot of players have canceled virtual OTA because that means that you're still you're still going to be with a bunch of bunch of people, with the possibility of the coaches being out and you at the facility. Getting yourself in shape, ready for this, ready for the season. So that's one of the reasons why the virtual OTAs were canceled. But overall, um, now I don't question the um, the Milton Williams defensive end, that defensive tackle pick. I think that guy will be pretty good. He could be the heir apparent to to Cox, but but that besides the point. This video really about London, London about Landon Dickinson. I thought that guy was going to be healthy. But he might be a healthy stretch, which means he might be on, on the PUP list to start his season. So, um, I'm quite sure the Eagles have done their homework before they actually drafted this guy. But, they can go back to last year where they were saying th that they were not going to sign or draft any injury-prone prayers. But yet, they went back on their word and drafted an injury-prone prayer anyway. So, um... Uh, I'm just, I, on my last video, I was happy that the Eagles dressed this guy, but now, uh, now I'm a little bit more worried about the pick itself when we could have drafted another offensive center. And there have been many centers that, that, that came and went in the draft. The Eagles had many opportunities to draft a, a healthy one, but they, they just did a, a healthy stretch. And Landon Dickinson. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting the guy down. I'm quite sure the guy is still a good actor than for as his protection and for his his ability to block up front. But it's the injuries that's a concern, that's a concern to me. And I'm beginning to wonder: was he worth 
the 37th pick in the second round of the draft. Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, either, 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 either I, I will say probably next year or the begin or the, or close to the end of the year. The Eagles will probably see how well off this guy is and how can he last a full season because we really don't know that now. So it's a good chance that Landon Dickerson could land on the PUP list to start the season and maybe close to the end of the year when um, they pulled Jason Kelsey off the field for the first, for the final last time of his career as an Eagle and a possible future Hall of Famer. And I think the Eagles will uh, see what they have as far as center concerned. And let's not also forget the guys that they drafted last year. There's a couple of guys who played center when Kelsey went out for a little bit. So, I mean, this is going to be a this is gonna be an open competition like they said. And so, maybe Landon Cobb, maybe Landon Dickinson will get the opportunity to play. Maybe he won't, but I don't, I don't see this guy really, I really can't imagine this guy playing no time soon. Like I said, he might land on a PUP list to start the season. So, I'm kind of worried about that. So, I hope you guys accept my apologies. I'm I'm I'm, I'm so I'm so sincerely sorry for making a video that got me smiling and so much so much more hyped about a guy who's who's actually injury prone. And um, wow. So now I got to take a step back, and before I make any video on any guy, I'm gonna start doing my research. And that's where it goes to now because I can't afford to make videos or retraction video like this apologizing. But this one here, I owe pardon to all the all the fans who see my videos and to all the guys who all the men and women who commented and gave me a thumbs up on the video. I'm sincerely sorry about that. So accept my apologies. Going forward, I will not be making Another video on any guy drafted or any guy that's that's bought in via trade or or via signing before I do my research because I got research I, I got research now before I make any videos on any guy going forward. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, peace. Enjoy your night. And tomorrow is um round four. Let's see one two one. Two, three, yeah, tomorrow round four and round five of the NFL draft. And six and seven is Sunday. So enjoy the rest of the um the draft. I plan to. And like I said, before I do any video, any guy, before I do any before I do any smiling, my research will be done before I do any video on any guy. So good night and enjoy the draft. Peace.